no use. to kill these guys. Check the terminal on the desk over there. Sinclair's passcode better work, or we're screwed. Vacuum cleaners for a reason. Thank God that worked. Let's find our way down to the sublevel. That's where MedTech should be storing the cure. There we go.
down or much. Safety up. Oh, no, you don't. with this junk. I have no idea what any of it does. Here you go, we McCready. It. Holy crap, we actually did it! We just gave Duncan a fighting chance to live. I don't know how I'll ever be able to pay you back for this. I owe you big time. All I care about is curing your son. I know you do. I'm just getting tired of taking instead of giving. Maybe one day I'll learn to get my priorities straight. Anyway, the last step ahead of us is getting the cure to Daisy and Good Neighbor. With her caravan contacts, she's the only one I trust to get this to Duncan on time. This is the last favor I'm going to ask. I promise. Let's go. Nothing says welcome like the stench of urine-soaked garbage. Oh, jeez, you ain't one of them Diamond City types, are you? <clears throat> McGrady, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> you haven't been at more than you have yet. Well, how could I stay away from someone as cute as you, Daisy? Uh, you're a lousy liar, but I'll just play stupid and pretend I don't know. So, what do you need? I got it, Daisy. I found the cure to Duncan's disease. Oh my god, that's wonderful news. How'd you do it? Last time you tried, the ferals almost chewed you to bits. I didn't do it alone. The friend here got me through medtech. Now, all I need to do is get the cure into Duncan's hands. Can you help me? Of course, McCree. You've saved my behind more than once. It's the least I can do. 
It's okay. You can trust me. I swear I'll get the cure to Duncan. If McCready trusts you, then that's good enough for me. I appreciate that. He's actually not so bad. Once you get to know him. I'll get the sample on the first caravan leaving the Commonwealth. The driver owes me a few favors. And he's reliable. It will arrive at your homestead in no time, McCready. Thanks. You're a doll. Hey, do me a favor. Take care of McCready for me. He's one of the good ones. What, you need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel Rexford. He'll hook you up. Trying to stay on good behavior here. Don't make me do something I'll regret. Everyone's gonna have to step up next time we get attacked. Hey, I got you back. No worries. What? Got a staring problem? Heads up. Well? Hey there. Here you go. What are your thoughts on our relationship? I like the way you've been handling things lately. Let's hope it stays that way. What have you got to trade today? Heads up. What's up? I need to ask you something. Hold up. I think we need to talk. I hope nothing's wrong. Wrong? No. Not at all. I've been waiting for the right moment to talk to you, and I suppose this is as good a time as any. After helping me get Duncan's cure for medtech, I figured I owe you something. And I always pay my debts. Here. I wanted you to have this. I know a carved toy soldier is a strange reward for risking your life, but this one's special. It means a lot to me. If it's special to you, then it's a thoughtful gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Just be sure you don't lose it. My wife Lucy gave this to me right after we met. I, uh, I told her I was a soldier and she made it for me. Never could bring myself to tell her the truth. That I was just a hired killer. The soldier story was the best thing I could come up with. I didn't want to lose her because of what I was. Hey, I'm sure you had good intentions. I had a feeling you'd get where I was coming from. It doesn't really matter anymore. She died a few years back. We made the mistake of holding up in a metro station one night. We didn't know that the place was infested with ferals. They were on her before I could even fire a shot. Ripped her apart right in front of me. There was nothing I could do. I took everything I had to escape with Duncan in my arms. Maybe it would have been better if we died there with her. You may have lost your wife, but you saved your son. That counts for something. Maybe. I don't know anymore. Damn, I miss Lucy. No matter how bad things got, she was always there with a shoulder to lean on. It gave me... Well, it, it gave me the courage I needed to press ahead. To never give up. When she died, I thought that feeling was gone forever. Then I met you. You have the world's problems in your back, and here you are helping me with mine. Let me your shoulder like Lucy did. I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. I was hoping what we have together could be 
more than friendship. I... I, I don't know. I mean, I, I never thought of us that way. What about your husband? I know he's gone, but you still love him, don't you? Would it bother you if I still love him? I don't know. I mean, we're two sides of the same coin, right? It's true. I miss Lucy to death. But at some point we have to move on, don't you think? It might be difficult for me. But I think I can make our relationship work. I, I can't believe you feel this way about me. I know I was taking a chance dumping all my feelings in the table. But now that I know how you really feel about me, it was definitely worth the risk. For once in my life, everything's going right. And I have you to thank for it. I don't think anyone in the world could ask for a greater gift than that. Thank you. Mr. Finch. Hey, you! Oh, sorry. I thought you might be one of those forged maniacs, but you don't have the burns. A group of them took over the old ironworks, and they'll shoot you just as soon as look at you. Who are the forged? Bunch of trumped-up raiders, obsessed with fire and metal. That bastard son of mine, Jake, snuck out in the middle of the night to join him. He grabbed my granddad's old sword. It's the closest thing I've got to an heirloom. I don't guess you'd be crazy enough to try and get it back for me. I've got caps, if that's what you want. What about your son, Jake? You don't care what happens to him? I didn't raise my boys to be raiders. As far as I'm concerned, he's dead to me. I'll find it. You're doing me a big favor, and I'll make it up to you as best as I can. I heard you talking with Abraham. Did he even mention our son? You mean Jake? Yeah, my youngest, Jake. I guess I shouldn't call him a boy, though. That's probably part of the problem. The two of them were at it again, and Jake must have taken off to that ironworks like he was going on about. Don't bring it up to Abraham. But if you find my boy, you bring him home. I'll get the two of them sorted out. 